talk about just some of my fears about the new job, which, yeah, I'm scared. Hello there, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Lauren. I have been a content creator for 13 years and I'm actually a full-time social media manager and that's what we're gonna be covering in today's video. I'm kind of exploring what I want this YouTube channel to be, so I would love if you subscribe and join along for the journey. So, I got a new job. I definitely wasn't looking, but a new job came up. So I actually took a week off in between my job, and this is a vlog just kind of me exploring rest. I get really honest about how I'm feeling about starting the new job, and just some things that I've been struggling with lately about it. So I hope you enjoy. Let me know your thoughts about starting new jobs, any like imposter syndrome tips, because I definitely have those right now. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. Hello and happy Tuesday. Yesterday was a really good day. Got to see a little bit of the Met Gala, which was really uh, unexpected. Actually, I had just had to go into the city to bring in my laptop for work and turn it in um, since it was my last day on Friday. And then I was walking to a coffee shop and saw the paparazzi and was checking everything out. And since I was on the Upper East Side, I thought I might as well stop by and see the actual uh, Met before the event started. So that was really, really cool. Today we have to run some errands. I'm really disappointed. I have to return this Urban Decay eyeliner. It's their 24-7 Glide-On eye pencil. I got it during the Sephora sale. I've been looking for something to put along my waterline that isn't going to smudge. I have really oily lids and I'd heard a lot of good things about this and also the reviews on Sephora.com are really good, but I was so disappointed. I wore this yesterday and it was honestly worse than the eyeliner I have now, which is just a Maybelline one. I went out and took pictures and I came back inside and I look like a crazy person. I had like eyeliner all up here, all down there. It was a mess. Um, so I got to return this to Sephora. I got to drop off some things at the dry cleaner, pick up a prescription at Target. Oh, and get some film developed, which I'm really excited about. So we're just doing kind of like an admin day today and then later... I'm actually going to a figure drawing class at Happy Medium, which is an art studio here in New York City. And I've done like their open studio day when my sister came. I did that with her, but this is actually going to be a drawing class for two hours from seven to nine this evening. So really excited. Let's get started with the day. Wednesday. Uh, last night was so fun. I took a figure drawing class, which I thought when it said figure drawing, it meant like they were going to teach us. Um, 
no teaching involved it was just like a free draw class with a nude model which is really cool um actually was a really great experience i've never done live nude model drawing before but we had like um first started out with really quick sessions so like holding poses for one minute and then we worked our way up to two and then five and then the longest was seven and it was really fun very good vibes and I definitely would do it again and I need to practice some more I think because there were some really good artists there. I think it was really good for me to kind of get out of my head. <clears throat> it's hard to explain but I feel like since I work in social media and then I do social media obviously personally, I'm always kind of just like thinking and strategizing and creating content and I never just relax and create for creation's sake. That's something that like never is really on my to-do list and I really found myself actually just getting lost in the process last night not even thinking about my phone not even thinking about like oh my gosh I gotta capture this I gotta um, document the moment so it was really nice to kind of just like lose myself again and have a childlike wonder sense of just like exploring something new even if you're maybe not good at it well last night was really fun and I was just really grateful um, I was thinking about this last night when I was getting ready for bed, but I have a really hard time letting good things come to me and just accepting good things in my life. I always feel guilty for enjoying nice things, if good things happen to me, if I'm having a particularly good week. And I don't really know where this mindset comes from, but I'm often scared that a lot of good things are happening to me which it means something bad is gonna happen. I don't know if I'm superstitious or what, but which is not a great mindset to have. Like you don't wanna have that negative energy always thinking that something bad's gonna happen just because something good's gonna happen. But having this week off and like having all the time and then I just recently went to Paris, I'm kind of thinking like, who am I to like have all these good things and all this free time and like the money to do this. And it's such a limiting mindset and I've been doing daily affirmations and one is I deserve good things which is something I'm still trying to believe that I deserve good things in life and I've earned them and I deserve them and I am able to enjoy them so that is something I'm trying to contemplate on this week and really let go of as I'm not working so just some thoughts um I'm gonna be doing vintage shopping today I have no idea if I'm gonna get anything, but it's always fun to look, so let's go. I always have it on Thursdays every other week. It was really good. We talked about just some of my fears about the new job, which, yeah, I'm scared. Um, everyone keeps asking me if I'm excited, and I definitely am excited. I think I'm really excited to work for the company and to be doing social for them and just like working with a really great team I'm excited about. But I'm not a great person when it comes to changes and trying new things. I think uncertainty is something I really struggle with because I love to be prepared and control things. And with something like a new job, hi Tito, with something like a new job and just waiting for it to start, you really don't know what challenges are going to come up yet. So I'm just kind of in this waiting period where I can't prepare for anything. And I'm kind of just chilling out. So I think that's been a real challenge to just really take it easy and not plan anything, try and prepare for anything, but just like relax and be. 
I also chatted with my therapist this morning about just like some of the guilt I was feeling about taking a week off and even just getting a new job and feeling like um <clears throat> like this opportunity like I don't deserve it if it's like brought up a really good point she's like these things didn't just come to you like you worked for them you earned them like you booked the trip to Paris that was something you proactively did for yourself and same with like the week off in between like you earned this like you've been working I didn't take a, a break in between my previous two jobs so like I've literally like been working without a break um for like four years straight because I work in social so on the weekends and just like even on vacations I'm still checking and like looking at dms and things like that so this is truly my first time in four years that I've taken a break with no social obligations which is pretty crazy instead of feeling guilt I'm trying to be grateful and I'm always grateful but I think actively being grateful and reminding myself that these are incredible things that are happening to me and it's by no accident and I can still feel very appreciative and grateful of the things that are happening to me and enjoy them without thinking that like something bad has to happen or I don't deserve them so it's a process today I actually booked a museum uh, which I'm really excited about. It's called Generation Paper. It's in Columbus Circle. I, don't, I can't remember the actual museum, but they're doing a 60s exhibit, which is really exciting. So I need to get ready for the day. I haven't like even brushed my teeth and it's almost 12 o'clock and go do that. So it should be really fun. And that's the only plans I have for today. So let's go. <laughs> got done filming a video for TikTok. Just kind of having a chill day at the apartment. I definitely balled out this weekend or this week and treated myself. I have a very strange relationship with money. I have a really difficult time spending money on myself and like letting go of money. I tend to kind of hoard it and like not spend it, not treat myself. Like I don't even want to like spend it on necessary things like food. So just spend it on frivolous things like coffee out almost every day and like lunches and just like other things has me kind of feeling a little anxious. I do a budget tracker daily where I kind of just like track all my spending to see like where I'm at and um, how much I'm spending in certain categories and I did that this morning and caught that all up so I feel better, less anxious knowing that I understand what I spent like where I am because I think just sometimes it's the not knowing and the not checking that tends to kind of freak me out so I feel better but yeah I'm just trying to like lay low today and get some things done since it's my last day officially off off so I had the weekend I had some like, emails and things I had to catch up on I'm going to be trying to film some content I'm also supposed to be getting my laptop today for my new job which starts on Monday so that's really exciting um but here is my little beauty setup I always film by this window um because that's like really the only light I have in this apartment so my makeup I really like today it came out like nice and glowy during the Sephora sale got this Urban Decay all night setter spray and I feel like it's made the biggest difference um and just like how my makeup looks and also the say um what are these called star glow drops I had had a smaller size trial maybe like last summer and really liked them I was just waiting until the sale to get a restock so that's my makeup today. I really like it. I'm also fixing some lunch right now. So we're just having a nice chill day in. And then I'm actually meeting my friend Nicole later in the city for French food tonight and to catch up. So it should be a pretty chill day. I have to get up for the salad that I have fixed now for the third time this week. It is <clears throat> roasted Brussels sprouts, chickpeas with sitar seasoning, Parmesan cheese, and then I'm also heating up some salmon to put over it. So good, so delicious. Good if you don't like salads and want something that still tastes good. So a couple of cute new things for the job updates. They gave me business cards. I'm not gonna show you uh, the company because I wanna keep it private. I've never had a business card before. It says Lauren, Senior Manager, Social Media and Content Creation. Pinch me. And then I also got an amazing package. So I got this box 
and this box they sent me one of everything of all the skincare that um the company sells which is very overwhelming but i'm so excited i feel so like lucky and grateful a lot of times social media teams will need one of every product because we'll shoot content with it so i have a feeling that's why i got this much because like no one person can ever use this much skincare but i'm excited to obviously try out some of the products there have been a few that i've tried just like personally but a lot i've been curious about so i'm really excited to start trying these this weekend but i just thought that was so sweet and welcoming that they sent me all this hello i just finished a nice nourishing lunch because i'm going to take a run today it's so beautiful i went to the park and dropped off my compost this morning I was just like laying there and I was doing some reading. Actually, it was really cool. Someone who follows me on Instagram came up and said hi with her friend. Totally made my day. It's always so um, cool when that happens. And I don't know. I'm just like, oh my gosh, yes, I'm passing Lindsay. I want to go out, enjoy the weather again while I can. Since it's finally nice, of course, this entire week that I was off, it was rainy. And then when it's time to go back to work, it's nice out. Uh, that's how it always happens. So I'm going to get changed. Put on my running gear, do some stretching, and then we're gonna go for a run in Prospect Park. So let's go. Just trying to relax and prepare myself for tomorrow is my first day of work. I made myself a really nice dinner tonight, prepped myself some breakfast for the week, did my skincare, also worked on my May goals and affirmations, which are really nice to have down. I like to start every day before work saying the affirmations, so really focusing on being grateful this month. And also tapping into my confidence and my creativity. So, May should be a really good month. I want to thank you for following along if you watched this whole vlog and being with me during my week off. It means a lot. I really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!